Welcome back. Command General Paul Funk is the 60th Commanding General of three Armored Corps at Fort Hood. Nice round number, 60th. All right, Channel 6's Barry Roy sat down with him for an exclusive and a one on one. He joins us now with more on what he learned from the general. Good evening, Barry. Yeah, good evening to you both. What a privilege and honor it was to sit down and talk to a man with so much history and dedication to our great country. He grew up in and around the Army and with men and women of war. Following in his father's footsteps and taking command of the Army, he's proudly shaped his life around. In his own words, this is Commanding General Paul E. Funk II. Can we talk about your dad? Sure. For just a second, I Absolutely. know you guys have an incredible relationship. What did you learn from him while watching him all of these years? I learned from him, listen to my mother. Is what I heard. General Paul E. Funk, who returned from his 12 month deployment last September, credits his parents, especially his father, whom he followed in a military service, for the man he is today. But what I learned from him is patience. Nobody woke up this morning and said, Today I'm really going to screw everything up. It's okay to smile and be happy and be focused and tell people they've done a good job and then let them take the fight out there every day. If you were over there, can you? Give us, for, for those that weren't there, the eyes on the ground, what that was like over there? I could describe it in two words, maybe. One, one is honor. I see the return of honor to the Iraqi people through their military because they've defeated this enemy. They are starting now to consolidate their gains and start to rebuild their country. And then it was hope in Northeast Syria. And that hope is that they can get to a political solution. What kind of progress did you see in the ongoing fight against ISIS? What I saw is the Iraqi military taking the fight to ISIS, the Syrian Democratic Force taking the fight to ISIS, and, and the, the, the indigenous people fighting and us doing the advise and assist piece, which is where, where we ought to be in this fight. They, they need to take care of this, and we need to help them, but they need to take care of them. If we withdraw troops from Syria and Afghanistan, as the president has suggested that we do, do you see that as a problem in this fight against ISIS? What I saw was we were on the right track and we were, take, we were taking the fight to the enemy every day and definitely driving that enemy out of existence. ISIS aside, if that's at all possible, in General Funk's opinion, what's the biggest threat today against our country? Is, is sustaining our, our freedoms. We have got to recruit the next generation. We got, and, and we got to build competency in our units for the long term. We've got to adjust our force. We've got to be, we got to be ready for whatever comes up, be it being a near peer threat or terrorist organization. So our biggest threat is not being ready. How is Fort Hood preparing the troops to be ready? We are constantly using every dollar, every dime we can get our hands on to get our forces ready to train for whatever's next. General Funk, thank you for your time. Thanks again. Yeah, Chris and Leslie, so much to take from my sit down with him, but one of those is his relentless dedication to the men and women who serve our country in every capacity possible. To listen to the in interview in its entirety, just head over to our website, kcntv.com.